The Parkland activists claim that it's not about bashing Democrats or Republicans, but every time Cameron Caskey and David Hogg open their mouths, they're clearly bashing everything right of center. Welcome back everybody, I'm Nick Kingatis for MRC-TV and this is Pause for a Moment. Any way you look at it, whether we're talking about narrative, rhetoric, or ideology, Hogg and Caskey have been making the rounds on the TV circuit, getting their message of gun control out to anybody who will listen. Their latest jaunt saw them appear on HBO's Real Time with Bill Maher. Judging by what we know of Maher, this interview couldn't have possibly been biased, could it? I, I was at my first Obama rally when I was seven years old. Seven years old, you barely, so you don't even remember Bush hardly. I, I remember hearing a lot about Bush. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure all good. Pause for a moment, because the rest of the interview was a big Republican and conservative hate fest. The trio of Caskey, Hogg, and Marr called out, denigrated, and slighted the likes of Senator Marco Rubio, NRA CEO Wayne LaPierre, President Trump, and NRA spokeswoman Dana Loesch. Right. Hey, Cameron. Here's a little pro tip for you. If you're gonna publicly shudder every time you mention Dana Lash, maybe, just maybe, get her name right. While Hogg remained composed and civil with his comments, Caskey showed a litany of disrespect for people he has no interest in talking to. Roll it. But we don't, <laughs> we don't respect people just because we have to. We don't respect you just because you have Senator in front of your name. Right. And uh, Mr. Rubio, if you don't believe me, watch, you know, the, the news. And um, we, right. we don't just stand for, we, we don't let people steamroll over us. To all of the generations before us, we sincerely accept your apology. <laughs> and we, we, we appreciate that you are willing to let us rebuild the world that you fucked up. Pause for a moment, because while I firmly believe that respect is earned and not given, Caskey seems to respect no one but himself with the comments he puts forth. <laughs> a lot of people are trying to take us down quickly. They're trying to discredit us. They're trying to say, we don't know what we're talking about. Well, until you've been on the receiving some, some end of, of an- called you actors. Well, I am an actor, actually. Don't forget to plug the play you're an actor in, Cameron. I'm in Spring Awakening right now at the Barclay Performing Arts Center. It's a, lot, oh. it's a great show. There were so many aspects of this just under 10 minute interview that I could comment on, but let me save you the headache. One last thing I'd like to talk about when it comes to this interview is the blatant attack on the Second Amendment that Marr himself spoke about. Before we show the clip of Marr, I just want to be fair and say that both Hogg and Caskey told Marr that they don't want to get rid of the Second Amendment. Yeah. We're not targeting people's guns. Uh, my father was a, my father's a police officer. His father's former FBI. We have guns in our houses. We're not trying to tear apart the Second Amendment. Honestly, I think that's part of the problem in this country is that nobody goes at the Second Amendment. Nothing is really going to change unless somebody talks about that. The reason why this country is different is because we treat guns as a right. Other countries treat it as a privilege. Pause for a moment, because liberals like Marr always like to compare the U.S. to other countries to make America seem evil in some way. What Marr doesn't understand is that all of those other countries don't have free speech. There's a reason why the First and Second Amendments are the first two in our Constitution. If you get rid of the Second Amendment, you might as well say goodbye to the First. If it wasn't for the Second Amendment, which enables the First to exist, Marr wouldn't be able to say the dumbass things he says on an almost consistent basis. Well, maybe he would. Propaganda is a major tool of those who oppose the Second Amendment. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. For MRC TV, I'm Nick Kangadis. Don't let your TV guide you.